If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have uh, the Peter, Sch Peter Schmeichel to check out. Guys, with this card, we're going to be doing his review earlier because apparently he is a leaked SBC. So it kind of makes sense for me to play regular FIFA while reviewing some other cards and then having him chilling in the squad, right? I think it's going to make a lot of sense for us to do that uh, so we can kind of collect footage out of the card as much as possible, right? So with Schmeichel in-game, guys... Um, Let's take a look at this card, right? So a glove would give him positioning, handling, and diving. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, people give glove quite a bit. Uh, I, I won't lie to you. Uh, a basic handling, diving, reflexes would be improved, positioning. I mean, we could try him out with a glove or something to see what he's like. Uh, this card is someone who has a one-star skill, three-star weak foot, medium, medium work rates, high in stocky, acceleration, sprint speed as a goalkeeper is on the lower side. So... I mean, if you have like a sweeper keeper on him, it might not necessarily be the craziest, you know, play style. Let's see what he has. So he has far throw. He's got footwork. So footwork is when you actually like do the saves with feet, basically. Bag players will have increased reactions and speed in one on one situations. Bag players. Am I stupid? What does that mean? Bag players. I'm stupid. You guys are going to tell me. I'm going to be like, Inception, you're so stupid. Cross Claimer. We'll have increased reflexes and reactions during opposing set pieces. Okay. 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 Um, okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to be giving him the glove chemistry style. We're going to see what he's like on that. Um, it's a goalkeeper review, guys. Guys, I'm going to be honest, man. With goalkeepers, like, most of the times when it's not Vandersar... Like, you unlock him for other reasons, I would say. Uh, goalkeepers are always going to be, like, random. Uh, I, I can never tell you 100% certainty, like, hey, guys, this guy's amazing, this guy's not good, or whatever, right? Um, but regardless, we're going to be trying him out. We're going to see how he ends up performing in-game. Um, hopefully, he is a beast. Good save, Schmeichel. I definitely need that at least. Wara distribution. That is horrible. I don't know what that is, bro. I don't know what that is. He goes for a leg save there, I guess. Oh, it's funny. I do a challenge and he actually goes over the ball to try to get it. You know what I noticed in this game? When you push your goalkeeper, they don't cover the middle ground when they're pushing out. It's really dumb, actually. It's a dumb mechanic. I definitely noticed that with them, like, in this game. I don't really blame them for that. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I already knew it. Wara save. Wara distribution. Oh, keep it in. There you go. What was the goal that I conceded here? Oh, this is just a typical build-up. 
yeah so this is a pretty basic shot too no crazy save so he does the build up here ball roll into the pass passes into the middle and then shot to the side position i was the only shot on target for that game Eh, good save we'll take it gotta be careful of uh bacha with that cross no save there save Schmeichel it's a pretty decent well the regular save he should be making it's a near post one good save Schmeichel tackle the ball like a billion times never get it you know the vibes in this game Wara collect Thank you, Schmeichel. Gotta co cover the uh, the cutback. It's trash meta. Even though I don't tap R1, it does nothing. Let's save Schmeichel. Okay. I think he thought I was going to do like manual goalkeeping there or something. We still have the ball there, EA. We're chilling. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Schmeichel card. So again, guys, this is a goalkeeper review. So it's always hard to say whether or not, hey, guys, like this guy is absolutely fantastic to get him. You know, I have to get this card right now. It's always hard to say, right? With goalkeepers, you have to just kind of show the animations and stuff that they're going to go with in certain situations. You know what's the most noticeable play style for this card? I think it's this one right here. No, not this one. No, it's not these ones. What's the, what's the thing that it explains over here? Cross claimer? Is it cross claimer? This one. That one's the most noticeable one. Okay, so it's interesting how they explain this, because listen goalkeeper will try to intercept a cross if they can get to it slightly before the opponent but then you go to cross claimer here right and you go to the gameplay effects players will have increased reflexes and reactions during opposing set pieces what so listen to be fair it's whether it's one or the other, it's kind of noticeable on both. You know, when the guy does a cross or he does a set piece, Schmeichel has been kind of known to be the type of goalkeeper to do some crazy reflexes on those specifically, right? So, you know how people go for the corner kicks and the corner kicks are super, super annoying to defend this year because there's so many different ways of scoring them and they're just, there's no way for you to physically defend an opportunity even if you know it's going to happen in certain cases right especially if you're up against van dyke and they control him right away it's it's chalked right but a card like this for that cross claimer situation right the play style on the card can be a very nice thing to work with the footwork one i think it's going to cause inconsistencies in certain situations there was that one animation that he did from a regular power strikes where honestly I feel like if I had like a Courtois or something, it'd probably save that one because um, it wasn't like completely to the side position. It was still kind of like in the middle. It's cool that he does that animation, but the leg save, it doesn't really seem like it's super necessary in certain situations because people don't really often go for driven shots in this game that much. You know, it's mostly like power strikes across goal. I think with power strike or, or driven shots, like maybe if they worked that one angle to shoot, but... They're not like super effective like they were in last year's game. They really ruined the shooting in this game because when it comes to like the finesse shots and the chip shots, those were the only two finishes. Like I mentioned to you guys in the Rans videos last year, 
that needed to be adjusted and I don't know why they changed the finishing, but it's EA. They do stupid things on a regular basis, right? But is the SPC Schmeichel worth getting? Guys, it really depends, right? Because obviously if you unlock this card, he's gonna give you some chemistry links in your team because the way that icons work for chemistry links is significantly better in this year's game, right? So if you unlock him for that reason, because you don't really wanna deal with the fact that, oh, you have a goalkeeper that doesn't give you chemistry links in certain positions and so on and so forth, it's really gonna be up to you. Do I notice a big difference between a card like this and a card like Courtois, for instance, who's really good? I think Courtois is definitely one of the, the better goalkeepers in the game, but Courtois has his moments of stupidity too, right? Like that thing of me pushing out the goalkeeper and then them having like the side position wide open, that's just a mechanic for the goalkeepers in this series game, right? So that's why I try to explain that to people that they have to be very careful in pushing out the goalkeeper because it's easier to score because they give you that angle to work with, honestly. It's like a pretty consistent thing. So would he be worth it? It depends. It really depends. It's, it's mainly going to be for chemistry reasons. Is it going to be a decent goalkeeper in game? Sure, but it would be more of a guarantee, I think, for Vanderstar. Like, I haven't tried out Vanderstar in this year's game yet, but he's usually the guy to go to every single year. Um, but if you get someone like Courtois, or you have Donnarumma, or you have Allison, and those guys give you give your links by default, then you're chilling, right? But if you can put your fodder towards a card like this to give you easy links in your team, it also wouldn't be a bad thing to work with, right? But like I said, guys, with goalkeeper reviews, it's more so to show you guys the animations because people always have different experiences with goalkeepers. I like Courtois a lot. He does dumb things sometimes, but that's the goalkeepers in general in this game. Some people are going to be like, no, Courtois is horrible. You guys know how it goes, right? So, uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.